according to YouTube, my last upload was 26th of June. That's six months since my last episode. Wow. Uh, it's been six months because, first of all, I lost my training space, which sucked. And then after I lost that, I decided, well, I have a garden now, so let's build a deck so I can train on it. So I did that. Then after I built deck, I was like, maybe let's build a shed as well. Okay, so I did that. And then in between training, teaching, training, teaching, and of course, full-time job. Oh, did I mention about Bachizado I've been organizing as well? Quite successful, actually. Well, that's been happening. Uh, not sure if you've been following my work for some time now, but uh, around three years ago, I recorded this episode about the goals for this vlog. I'm gonna continue those videos until I turn 30, which is two years time. So for the next two years, no matter what happens, I'm gonna continue those videos. And here we are three years later. Well, I didn't think it's gonna take that long, but still, uh, I did it. I managed to do 100 episodes, 100 extra trainings. Speaking of training, a few days ago, I actually decided to go to the gym and record myself and compare my capoeira, the movements I did in the, my very first episode I recorded with basically today. Well, this is what happened.
there you go. Uh, I'll leave you to be the judge. But personally, I think I did pretty well. And quickly, the last thing in the last few episodes, I promise there is gonna be some Q&A. This is gonna be the quickest Q&A you probably ever watched. They haven't read the questions multiple times or before this this recording, so you'll get my answer, you know, from the top of my head. I'm not making anything up. What is this music in your videos? <laughs> Basically, uh, I don't use capoeira music in my videos. I mentioned that in one of the previous episodes because uh, I have capoeira music all, all the time around me. So uh, in my videos, I do com something completely different. And they come from YouTube uh, music library and the Facebook music library. How much time do you usually spend training each session? And how often during the week? If it comes to my personal training, I train just once or twice a week, probably an hour uh, training session. Unless I'm recording, that's like two or two and a half hours. But on top of that, when I teach capoeira classes, which is four times a week, I always make sure that I just not just teach, I also make sure I train. Are you Brazilian? No, I come from Poland. What motivated me to learn capoeira? I uh, always liked movement. I was really huge Jackie Chan fan and when I heard, when I saw capoeira, I just wanted to do it. That was my first thing. Are you completely self-taught? No, I've, I started capoeira with a teacher back in Poland. Then I was, I, when I moved to UK, I trained with Manchester in Liverpool, Liverpool and then I moved to Edinburgh. That's when I trained more and that's where I teach now. What is that software that has the list of techniques and is tracking them? It's not a software. So many people ask me, I think I'm just gonna make this available to, to you guys. I created a, a, a progress sheet for myself uh, in Photoshop and I just filled this manually. It's nothing fancy. What part of the world are you in? Edinburgh, Scotland. Do you have an Instagram account? Yes, I do, by me, but no one ever follows me or joins me. Uh, you can be the first one if you want. Did you do gymnastics before you started capoeira? No, I, I haven't done any gymnastics before, only what I did in the garden, which is jumping forward, falling on my back because Jackie Chan was my, uh, my hero. Uh, so I wanted to be like him. Uh, so all the gymnastics I kind of practiced myself. Stupid idea. Was it very difficult for you to learn handstand cartwheels, uh, headstands? Uh, headstand, no, for some reason it was very easy. Handstand, I, I struggle, but I'm getting much better now because I train more, uh, but difficult. Cartwheels, uh, cartwheels in capoeira is my kind of uh, hobby within capoeira itself. I really aim to learn as many cartwheels as possible, so difficult, yes, but I enjoy the process. How long do you hold each stretch? I think that's, yeah, stretching for capoeira video. Uh, actually, I'm gonna also answer that. If you want to stretch permanently, you should at least hold for one and a half minutes. Do you have any tips on standing from however sound? Yes, don't drop your hips. Number one thing in, many, in most of the capoeira cartridges is dropping the hips. The moment you drop your hips, you relax your hips, bye bye, it's not gonna work. Which group I am from? I'm from Tukum, Capoeira, Edinburgh, formerly Cordon Dioru. Any tips on Helloju for me? Nope. I'm still learning it, so I'm not gonna teach you what I don't know myself. How long does it take to become an instructor, more or less? Around 10 years, I believe. I don't get why you don't have more subscribers. Uh, me neither. I have no clue why not, but uh, go and subscribe and watch the videos and share with other people. That's gonna help me and your friends and probably yourself as well. Can you do a helicopter? Yes, I can. Not great, but not terrible either. What is your court system? There you go. Just trying the macaquinho. How do you train manage to keep the knees together and bring them inwards? You have to be very conscious. You have to be completely switched on when you do this, when you do macaquinho. If you get relaxed and you like just think about play, flipping your body over your elbow, it's not gonna work. You need to think about your elbow. You have to think about bringing your knees to your chest. You have to think about the hand behind your head. Yeah, it's not just idle there. You have to push off just to finish the movement. What motivates you to train? I'm scared of being average. I'm actually, I'm actually very scared of that and I don't really want that. I don't have to be great, I don't have to be amazing, but I want to be good, I want to be better than average. What's the difference between Auge Versailles and Auge French? Auge French is moving forward, Auge Versailles is like you kicking compasso, so it gives you momentum, so you spin. I think that's it for now, enough of those questions. What's gonna happen now with my channel? The end? No. Uh, I'm, as I said, I built decking, so I hope it's gonna last and it's gonna hold my weight so I can train on it. So the plans are now, basically, I'm gonna continue with the vlog as much as possible. It's probably not gonna be that regular, but I'll try my best. But I also want to start tutorials. Uh, so many of you start asked me to start doing tutorials, so 
uh, I'll try to do that. So that's the plan and that's it. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next episode.